Hi, my name is Ebony and welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk to you all about warm florals. Uh, some people call them florientals. They seem to be one of my most favorite uh, types of fragrances all year, but today specifically, I wanted to talk about uh, rolling them out for your spring and summer fragrances. I have a one, two, three, four, five. I believe I have five fragrances that I'm gonna go over with you guys today. Um, my love for uh, floral orientals, or warm florals, really started with YSL's Black Opium a few years ago. It was the first fragrance that I smelled immediately that was in that vein and I loved it. Um, it's one of those fragrances where I tend to kind of regulate it to evening and I haven't worn it for some time, but when I did, I would wear it, you know, if I was going out, um, on a date. It was really what started it off for me and got the ball rolling on my love for this, this type of fragrance. First up, we're gonna talk about Valentino's Born in Roma. This is probably my most recent purchase. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I have the 1.7 ounce. Um, the bottle is studded, which is Valentino's signature. The cap is studded as well. Very nice cap, very secure. Um, and the juice is a pale pink, even though it shows up a bit dark on camera. It's a nice pale pink. The fragrance itself is fruity, a little spicy, and then you get the vanilla, the depth from the vanilla in there as well. Very nice fragrance. Um, it actually reminds me of like a fruit lemonade, like a fruity lemonade, because um, I believe there's bergamot in there. There's bergamot in this, and although it's in the top note, it's not like taking over. It's just grounding things and um making things just pull together even more it is you do notice it but it's not you do notice it but it's not um it's not taking over yep yep you smell the citrus but then you smell the fruit as it dries down the fruitiness and then you get those white florals there's something sparkly, bubbly about this as well. It has a youthful feel to it. I feel like if in your early 20s, um, probably even late 40s, you would enjoy this as well. Even younger girls, I think, would like this. Um, yeah, the younger girls would definitely enjoy this. Yeah, this reminds me of like a fruit punchy lemonade fragrance with a little bit of vanilla very sparkly pretty fragrance i think that um this would be a really good addition to anyone's collection um it's an easy fragrance very well put together fragrance definitely screams spring and summer to me Next up for you i have this beautiful gem right here prada la femme very, very nice, feels extremely good in my hand. Um, I have the 1.7 fluid ounce. I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance as well. Um, to me, when I first smelled this, I just felt, I just thought of the sun, like sunshine. That's what it felt. It felt like the sun was just raining down on me. This is a honey fragrance to me. It's a honey white floral, white floral fragrance to me. Um, I feel like honey takes over. Honey's the main star. But you get those white florals in the background. You get the magnolia. You get the tuberose. Um, I don't think that there's jasmine in here. But I swear to you, it smells like there's jasmine in here. Um, I know in the base, there's um, some beeswax. But, like, it's a non-issue. It's in there, you know, because it's listed. But I don't smell it. Um, I know some people have called it waxy. I don't smell wax when I smell this. I just smell like sunshine, sunflowers. It also kind of gives off a honeysuckle vibe as well. All in all, a very beautiful fragrance. I feel like this is something that you can wear 
from day to night um, and still smell very pretty. It's very soapy as well. It's sunshine in a bottle. It's so pretty, so beautiful, so feminine. I really think that this is a really good um, addition to anybody who's looking for a fragrance for spring and summer. Um, something that is going to just pull them all together. You've got your sundress on or a white tee with some jeans. I feel like even church, this is good for like brunch, church, um, semi-formal casual events. I feel like this is a good fragrance for that. Um, so if you see her and you like honey and you like white florals, pick her up. <laughs> Step next step next step next step next step next step Okay so coming to you live um let me stop we have Tom Ford Orchid Solil now this you know she looks worse than she should be because I honestly don't even remember beating her up like this but if you can see This is not a design. This is the gold, gold paint has just disintegrated over time. I've had this about four years now. Um, when I purchased this, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, this is so nice. It's, it's, it's has this creamy denseness to it that I, I can really, really appreciate. Um, and I really, really like this. I believe there's whipped cream in here. I know there's two bros. I know there's pink pepper, bergamot, cypress. Um, but let me tell you what Ebb smells. Ebb smells powder, two bros. I wanted to get more wear out of it, so I recently transferred it over into this atomizer because this is a roll-on. So I'm gonna spray this and see, you know, what comes to mind. But to me, this is a, a powdery tuberose fragrance. It's always been. Okay. Okay. Mm. So yes, Miss Orchid Solil. Miss Orchid Solil has a lot of body. That's what I can say about this fragrance. It's not dense in, in a way that it's strong or overpowering, but it's dense in a way that it's, it has some richness to it. That's what I'll say. It's a creamy, creaminess. I think there's whipped cream. I think there's chestnut. Um, richness. I do smell the flowers, which are the orchid in the base. In the middle, the tuberose and the red lily. I don't have many fragrances of red lily. I gotta look into her. Alright, and then on the top, we have cypress, pink pepper, and bitter orange. The cypress... You know what I'm lying, yes, okay, okay. The cypress makes sense, there is a woody quality to it, which is probably what is also contributing to that body, that density and body that I feel like it has. Um, and I smell the bitter, the bitterness, the bitter orange, yes, I definitely smell that. The name is, the name actually fits it, Orchid Solil. Yeah, it's like, you get that floweriness, but it's like warmth. There's warmth to the flower. So yeah, orchid so little, duh. Anywho, definitely pick this one up if you can. You're, I doubt you're gonna find this locally um, because I was just looking online and the price done went up on this bad boy. So if you have this already, you know, Take a full world, you know, spray her. Um, make it all way, we make it all way. Um, so, and then there were two. I have two left. Um, first up is this, you know what? This reminds me of Dynasty. 
or one of those 80s soap opera type shows. If you were born in the late 80s, you know what I'm talking about. You remember this motif. Um, uh, it's one of my favorites. It's a Fuguer fragrance I was reading, which is basically a French translation for fern. And I felt like that made sense, you know, because lavender, fern. Um, I was like, okay, connection, you know, you be thinking. Um, so with this, this fragrance to me is just, it's the bee's knees, honey. It has lavender in the top and the middle. So you have to really like lavender um, to enjoy this to me. It's spicy. It has just a lot of different things going for it that really just puts you in just a good state of mind the tonka bean and the vanilla and the base <laughs> and the vetiver i think there's even amber green in the base as well but i just want to talk about the tonka bean and the vanilla and the vetiver oh my god that's why i got this one over libre um, over the regular Libre. And I'm not sure if it's Libre or Lieb. I've seen a few different pronunciations. Um, if you know for sure, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, this <laughs> is so, so good. I use this as aromatherapy. It's a spicy... Okay, I'm close my eyes. All right. I don't even need to smell it. It's a spicy, um, vanilla, right? But it almost has a feel to it like it has some type of rum note. And I'm not talking like regular, you know, rum. I'm talking like a spiced rum. Oh, this is so good. I have a sample of Killian Angel Share. And honestly, when I smelled that, it reminded me of this. And they're, all, they're not the same, you know, they're not the same fragrance, but I feel like they were created with the same thought in mind as far as like um employing just spices and vanilla and richness and a fragrance and really really you know letting it do its thing and stand out the spiciness in here is so nice it's so appropriate it really and that's why i feel like this is this this was i enjoyed this so much in winter but i strongly feel like as we transition from spring to summer, that this would be a really good um, thing to keep, a really good fragrance to, for me to keep using. And if you don't use it, for you to add to your collection because it's transitional. Um, you can wear it from day to night. The sillage on this is great. The projection is great. It's staying with you all day. You put it on at 8.30, when you come home at 5.30 or whatever your schedule is, when you come home eight hours later, you're still gonna have this fragrance on you and it's gonna be the creamy uh vanilla version of the fragrance not the t when you first sprayed it so it, it gets better as it dries down you know a lot of times when things dry down we get sad because we're like oh my god it's changing on me well this is a change you will welcome this ysl libre intense is so so nice um like i said i use i use it as aromatherapy i put this on when i want to have like a little extra pep in my step or when i'm dragging and i feel like i need something to help carry me this steps right on in and does the job i really enjoy this fragrance um <clears throat> Yeah, you know, some people say, you know, I was reading on Fragrant Cuz, they smell like old lady perfume. And I was like, well, call me Grandma Cuz. I, I love it. I totally, I totally enjoy it. Now, the jasmine is pretty in here. I'm going to spray some. I've been talking it up so much. Now I want to smell it. The jasmine is pretty. We walk she coming through already like i'm telling you she plays no games she's here oh my god i just love this thing spicy lavender vanilla with a little bit of citrus <sighs> get myself together you guys this YSL Libre 
I feel like it's a good addition to have. This is, you know, all year rounder to me. YSL, Libre, Intense. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she so pretty? Okay. <clears throat> now, the last one. Oh my God, I don't have it. I'll be right back. We're talking white floral, citrus, vanilla, powder, aromatic, green. I believe that's it. <laughs> Anywho, no, we're talking Christian Dior. <sighs> I don't even have much to say. Like, I do have a lot to say, but you know when you're stressed out or, you know, with little kids, they'll be like, count to two or count to ten or whatever. Take a deep breath and, you know, calm down or, you know, get back to yourself. Eat a Snickers, you know, you know what they say. Um, to, to, you know, to regroup and to get you back down to earth, right? That's what other people do. You know what Eb does? You know what I do? You know what Ebony is over here doing? She's sniffing Dior Attic. <sighs> Whenever I am having a moment, I, I, I sniff this. <laughs> I smell this. I do. I spray some on. If I already have some on and I feel like I need an extra boost, I will go and I will sniff this cap. I will sniff this spray and the reason that I do that is because this is the ultimate form of aromatherapy for me. This fragrance is so good to me. I thoroughly enjoy it. You're talking a spicy vanilla that has a little bit of powderiness. Um, that's what I get. This is not, you know, if you're looking for pink sugar, no. If you're looking for a synthetic vanilla, not saying that pink sugar is synthetic, but in my humble opinion you know she's good but i feel like the older i get the more i'm straying away from uh scents that really just have a lot too too much unnecessary sweetness and you know the main note the vanilla note is not what i want it to be i'm straying away from those things um this is grown woman vanilla that's what i would categorize Christian Dior um, Attic Ads. This is, you know, I feel like you can give this to women 30 and up, you know. Um, I think anything younger, not saying that the younger girls can't appreciate this because there's, you know, there's always a unicorn, but I do not see, um, this is not a youthful fragrance so so much. It's more, it's, it doesn't smell like perfume to me. It smells like an aroma you know it smells like it could it smells like a space and time that's what it smells like to me that's spicy spicy quality unique in its own way i'm sure there are other fragrances out there haven't come across them yet but this they knocked the ball the ball out the park when they did this um this came out in 2014 i know that this is a reformulation um i hope one day to get my hands on the 2002 version with the gold oh, i don't know i just know that i'm gonna love it um so in the meantime in between time i have this um i thoroughly enjoy it it makes me feel so good i feel like you can wear this anytime whenever you want all year round um just so you know you're aware bourbon vanilla jasmine sandback mandarin leaf orange blossom Mandarin leaf, I don't know too much about. I'm still learning on mandarin leaf. But I believe that adds the green quality to this fragrance, which is very, very light. Orange blossom, oh, it's always a good um, companion with jasmine or any type of vanilla fragrance. So I'm enjoying this. I will continue to enjoy this. And I think that this would be a great addition. But many can appreciate this. And I hope that you will try it out. And that is all I have for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I just wanted to come to you guys with fragrances that I feel that may already be in your collection that you may not gravitate towards or feel like they're appropriate for spring and, spring and summer. Um, and you know, just I do have um, a blind buy haul coming up just over, just about fragrances that I've blindly purchased in the last three to four months. It's been fun but scary <laughs> and I know a lot of people enjoy those I do myself so I definitely will be coming back with that but I just hope that you were able to find something in my little stash that you found helpful so 
so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please come back my name is Ebony once again um and I will talk to you later toodles later